Hello there and welcome to this let's play of Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth. This will be the first part. I believe it's episode one. Um, and I think there's three episodes coming for this uh, narrative-driven adventure game uh, based on Ken Follett's novel. Which a couple, I've, I haven't really read the novel because I'm not really a big fan of Ken Follett's writing, um, but I did enjoy like the miniseries they made uh, a number of years ago. I think they made it like right around the time they were making Game of Thrones. Uh, the Pillars of the Earth miniseries came out, and it was pretty good, as I recall. And sort of, I don't remember that well, but it's centered around the it was set in like the 12th century England, and it's set around this construction of this ma major cathedral in England at the time during a backdrop of civil war, civil war. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with the video game. As far as I know, it follows something like three or four different characters. Uh, the art style looks really interesting. It looks like a mix between 2D and 3D animation, so that's gonna be really interesting to see. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's start the book and see how the game is, shall we? Yeah, yeah three parts we can see here, and we'll be playing through part one. Yeah, why not take the tutorial? Simple enough. <laughs> I don't know, I just found the gesture humorous. This art style is right up my alley. Oh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. Oh, I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. 
What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Mm, turnip soup. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? Yeah, annoying town builder. You know I could do so much more. You said the same thing then, and look where it brought us. Just promise me you'll think about it. Okay, simple enough. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. <laughs> don't listen to me. I don't think he was joking. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? Or are you planning to carry the water with your bare hands? Uh, good point. Stupid snow. Why yeah, did it have I to just come down to take just a now? Leak. Should never have left. Well, we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining. Too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. I could do so much better. But I have to feed my family. Alright, let's
let's head back. That's our last pot. Be careful with it. Okay. Here, water for your turnips. Hooray! You can put it on the fire. Time for soup. And um, did you think about what I asked you? I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. Right. That's why we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that, and have so many windows. So, what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportion when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. It will give them hope. Agnes? <laughs> Mama? Great time. <laughs> the baby is coming. But it's not Jim. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. It's not really a good thing to keep secret. Oh, I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Look at all the blood. <laughs> okay. Right, what can I do to help? Cover me. Will she die? She'll die, right? <laughs> Mama. Your hands are cold. I, I could warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please.
Alfred. Get more water. Take snow if you must to make it warm. Right. What can I do? Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. Um, all right. Lady Isabella acted as midwife. You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. And she took us to her own chamber, and poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. Water's warm now. Put it next to me. Feel the warmth. Yes, it's not long now. Be ready. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. I know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Those builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. Expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I am proud of you. I feel so weak. You'll make it. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. Two of a kind, eh? She's losing too much blood. Sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. I'm sure it. Agnes will make it. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. That's quite an opening. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up.
Yeah, that was quite an opening. Probably one of the most depressing I've ever played. <laughs> Let's uh, call it an end here for now, and um, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, maybe this helps spark your interest for this game, and maybe you'll keep watching or invest in the game yourself. It's, it's certainly interesting, and I have to admit, I really love the art style so far. Um, really well done, I think. So, uh, thanks for watching, and... Uh, Take care.